So guys, I am back with arguably the best artifact gear farm in this game. There's no two which ways about it. You will see yourself earning so much artifact gear doing this, you're going to absolutely love it. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more Dying Light, be sure to subscribe. Also guys, join my Discord where you can find people to play with, talk about secrets, glitches, easter eggs, this that, and the other. Or if you have something to show me, you can always do that via my Discord, linked down below. Okay, so this massive, gi gigantic body of water is home to 16 plus crates that have artifact gear in. Artifact gear in. Now, if you look at my map, you will see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. But there's also five inhibitor containers within this water too. And I'll show you them on screen now. I'll edit this image so you can see exactly where they are. But I will show you gameplay of each individual position in a quick second. But yes, and the best part about these is people. The loot resets in them after about 20 minutes. So by the time you've done a rotation, that loot will have reset. It will have reset. How crazy is that? Now I'll show you the loot. I've done this loot. I've done a rotation once. Before I come here, my highest level gear was like six, five, six. I mean, look at this. Four and fives. Now look, I've got. I'm getting eights. This is just after one run. This is just after one run. I'm getting nines, people. Look at the weapons. Look at the weapons I'm getting. Look at the damage, the power. I mean, this is what I had before. This is what I had before. And because obviously there's a scaling system in the game where the better loot you have, the higher it drops, clearly. I'm just getting pure good stuff. Pure good stuff. And this is just one. Probably, fifth, probably took me about 20 minutes. I had to just wait here to make sure that the uh, loot respawned, and it did. But yes, guys absolutely ridiculous artifact farm no doubt the best in the game so far there's also a uh, night runners hideout here which you may just want to uh, uh well activate and there's a, a sunken airdrop right underneath that so you could, that could be a starting point now i don't think you need to complete the game to do this now you do obviously need to be in the second city there's no two which ways about that you need to be in central loop um i know to get the pan of destiny easter egg and get back in this building you do need to have completed the game but i'm sure this area here you may be able to get to but someone please confirm it down below for people who haven't completed the game but to do this you want to come to the you know the uh the vnc uh, broadcast building the one where we have the easter eggs in this building here tons of them so if you come here come down the street here come this way come down this road here jump down onto this path and then you just run along jump into the water and you're, you're free to swim around there's nothing in here that can hurt you i do this in the daytime though uh, because at night you obviously need to use your immunity boosters and when you're in the water you have to find like bits of trees to stand on uh, there are a few buildings under the water that can stand on top of the chimneys but there's a good chance that you're probably going to drown uh, so yes come here in the daytime so you don't have to use your immunity boosters and you are good to farm this over and over and over again and you will just get absolutely incredible loot like i said there's 12 of these sunken airdrops and there's five inhibitor containers under here four or five anyway inhibitor containers and yeah they constantly respawn that loot so you can just farm these over and over guys so yes, there we have it. I'll leave you now to watch the uh, footage of each individual location. I mean, they're here on the map, but just in case um, you want to see it, you'll see that on screen now. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did leave it a like, it really helps out. Don't forget to join my Discord if you want to be a part of my Dying Light 2 community. Uh, enjoy the rest of the video, and hopefully I'll see you on that next one.